guys, I am very pleased to welcome you again in our program Open Shimkent. And today's release is going to be really, really interesting because it's closely connected to the history. Today we're going to talk about where our city was built, where it was based. And we'll visit two places that called uh, the river Koshkarata that I've told you about in the previous release and the uh, hill fort Shimkent. And let's go find details together. Time erases almost everything from the uh, face of the earth, but it leaves traces uh, on which we can, or we mind to restore our history. And one of these traces is this hill on the hill for Shimkent. Now uh, archaeological excavations are carried out here, so let's take a closer look what's going on there. According to one legend, there was an orphan girl. From the family she only had a brother. One old rich man saw her and wanted to marry. The girl, of course, was against it and ran away with her brother. When their strength was gone away, they saw the river and ran to it. But the people of that rich old man almost caught up. At this point, the girl prayed to God, asking him for protection. And he made something strange. The earth heaved and formed a big hill, which forever cut off the pursuers from the past to brother and sister. So they settled here. In written sources, for the first time, city was mentioned in the 15th century. The historian Sharaf Adin Ali Azdi, in the description of the military campaigns of Timur in his book Zafar Name or Book of Victories. The Shimkent city is located in the southern part of the city, near the bus station on the hill of rivers Badam and Koshkarata. Archaeological excavations began in the very center of Shimkent city in 2003. Findings immediately denied the opinion that the town was founded in the 14th century. In the upper lawyers, there was found the coins of Pukhara Huda type, named Al-Mahdi. In addition, archaeologists have found early medieval ceramics of 7th and 9th centuries and ceramics of Karahani type of 11th and 12th centuries. The results of the excavations led to sensational conclusions. The age of the city of Shimkent is more than 2,000 years. where the artisans and farmers of the time settled. By the way, here uh, used to be a network of springs that would be the best decision to avoid in city.
artisans and farmers began to settle at the foot of the hill where the citadel rose in the 16th century. Surprisingly, the layout structure of the old town has survived to these days. The streets of the area repeat the outlines of the streets of that time. These little streets worked as uh, porters, as tinsmith, and now here is located the workshops for repairing the cars. In all countries and cities, visitors and tourists are primarily attracted by the historical part and the old Shimkent, which became the cultural capital of the CIS, can become a center of attraction of tourists, on the condition that is still kept. The old town has gone through several discussions of projects for its reconstruction. At first, they wanted to wipe out everything and build skyscrapers, because they thought the park was broken, and among all this diversity there was a project that would work on the tourist potential. According to the project, it was planned to revive the old part of the city. This mosque was built in the 19th century in line with uh, the Forgana Tashkent architecture by the masters from the Forgana Valley. Uh, actually, it was built as the, uh, as the quarter mosque, but then it took over the functions of the cathedral mosque. And that's why, therefore, it was uh, named by the residents as Jami. According to one legend, the tribe fleeing from the war after a long wandering and ordeal, breaking another desert and exhausted from thirst, came upon an oasis. Around him the tribe broke camp. Slowly it has grown and the spring every year became more and more affluent and here and there from the under of the earth began to beat all new and new springs. Then they merged into one stream and formed a large river. This is the river itself.
this is a river I've told you about in the previous releases, the river called Koshkar Ata. And at the beginning, it's very, very clean. It has very clean water that has uh, like healing properties. It, ha it contains a lot of calcium and magnesium in it. So uh, before people uh, gain the water in bottles and take with themselves in the aim of recovery, the same I did and took some water for me. Mm, it's really tasty. Koshkarata was buried at the source of the river and people for a long time went to his grave, who for healing and who for wells, and they say it helped, however the wells he gives is just enough to man lived, in no need. So it or not, I will not say, there are those who say that it's only through the prayers lifted up from the dust of the Koshkarata they have recovered, things got better. By the way, the Mazar to which the people's path still doesn't dry up is not the original burial place of the great elder, since the tomb of Koshkarata later turned out to be right in the middle of multi-story buildings, it was decided to move the burial a little to the side and a new Mazar was built over it. from the beginning of the river people are allowed to swim they bathe in order to freshen up and to escape this heat and uh, for the purpose of healing because this river has really healing properties
proper city was formed not on the banks of the river of Koshkar Ata, but on the settlement of Shimkent or the hill fort of Shimkent. Now we informed a little more about our favorite city, but that's not the end because a lot of interesting releases are waiting for us. So I cannot wait to see you again in our next release. Bye bye.